Hello everyone, this is Lena at Graylink. Thanks for joining me in the financial section. This is video 9 in our financial webinar video series. And in this video, I'll be talking about how lunch charges will post in the ledger. So what I'd like to do is take you through an example of how a teacher can add attendance um, and take a lunch count on the attendance sheet and then how that lunch count can automatically post charges into the student's ledger for uh, lunch billing. So first I want to show you that in this example we currently have the May billing cycle open and on the right half of the page I have an area for posting my lunch charges. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a few minutes, but for right now, I just want you to make a note of the fact that this billing period spans from April 26th to May 31st. So let's go now to the attendance tab, and we'll, we'll add in attendance just like a teacher would add in attendance. I'm going to click on my attendance tab. and. The date that I have selected is April 28th, which does fall within the current open billing cycle. The teacher would just click Add Attendance, and this is the same attendance sheet that the teacher would see. So we'll go ahead and select the appropriate lunch options for who has ordered lunch for the day, and then just click Save Changes. I'm going to go to the next day as well and just add in a couple more. Save changes. Okay, so we're just adding in the lunch count each day. Typically, this would probably be done just once in the morning for that day, but we're just putting in several as an example. Now, let's go back to the financial section. We'll note that uh, Alexis Gomez here ordered lunch on all three dates that we added in around the end of April. So I'm going to jump into financial and we'll go to Alexis and we actually don't see any lunch charges in here yet so let me show you how to post those lunch charges into the ledger for Alexis so I would click on billing at the top of the page and then I would need to go to the school year and the billing cycle that I'm currently in and now I can see that I've added in some more lunch charges that are pending. So we have more lunch charges pending than are actually posted into the ledger. And we can think of Alexis as an example of that. So I'm going to click this gray post refresh lunch charges button. And now I see that those lunch charges have posted into the ledger. Let's go ahead and take a look. So we'll go into the ledger. We'll select the school year that we're trying to view. And sure enough, I see that those lunch options have now posted into the ledger for Alexis on the date where she uh, ordered lunch and the appropriate lunch option, the amount, um, and there's her ledger. And I could then generate uh, a lunch billing uh, report if I wanted or a statement, and I'll, I'll cover how to run those sort of reports in later videos. But uh, just to, to reinforce it, after the teacher has taken the lunch count on the attendance sheet, you do need to go into your billing tab at the top of the page in your financial, and then highlight the billing cycle you're in, and then click Post Refresh Lunch Charges. And it's up to you how often you want to do this. Some schools prefer to do it every single day. Some schools like to wait until the end of the billing cycle and just post them all at once. So uh, it's up to you as far as how often you would like to update those uh, lunch counts in the financial section. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. Stay tuned for the next video. We're going to start getting into pay plans, so stay tuned.